I'll tell you what we should all do. Not one frigging thing. We do nothing. If we just stay put here, and the city folk keep a low profile, no one has to die for small nuts. So that's your now. Penny finally drops. Aren't they going to execute you next month? So? It'll be ten people if that. They've got over a thousand locked up in here. It'll barely register. So? Life's not statistics. I'm saying if you stir shit like what Bitch Queen wants, you'll have a thousand lives on your conscience. <sighs> and also, you're gonna set the world to rights? Then what's that there on your arms, on your chests? And then there's the kitten. Little more than a month left. <sighs> you must be the most eager of the lot. That's enough. Just shut up about the world already. All this holier-than-thou crap. You're only doing it for yourselves. <sighs> you just fight out of self-pity. Flailing around thinking you can make a difference. <clears throat> when I see off lives, I do it with purpose. Mia. Just one more day. One more minute. You've no idea how many lives we've sent. All the friends we had, wishing they'd had more time. That was each and every day for us. But it was all we could do. It was all we had to believe in. Day in, day out. You are... an Offseer? And when we finally made it to the city, I realized there was a whole different world out there. They're so lucky. I really thought that. I was astounded. Just by extending our years, life could be so different. I even saw the beginning of a new life. That tiny little hand that was grasping mine. I can understand why you want to protect that. If that's the now you speak of, we'd never kill that. Still, that's why we're trying to protect it for you. To save our friends. To build a future that would make us free. You've got about a month. That enough? For that? I don't know. My time might be up before our fight is truly over. There's... probably not that much I can do. Mia... But... I've got to try. I'll keep trying while my flame still flickers. And after that... Yeah, we gotcha. We'll carry on your will. Right, Noah? Of course. I don't really want to imagine that. But there's just no running away from it. All we can do is move forward. We have to. That day, Guernica entrusted us with this power. And because of that, we made friends with former enemies. Believe us, your now is safe with us, as is the future. So, that's your argument? Oh. What's this? For the Cloud Keep where the real Queen of Agnes is taking her beauty sleep. You'll need that to get in. Kind of like a key. <gasps> this thing took a liking to... Uh, names? Noah. Mio. Noah and Mio. I'll remember that. 
Hmm. Anyways, the doodad reacted to you two when you teamed up. I think it was probably like telling me to give it to you. Thank you. You're helping us now? Still hate the fact the bitch queen sent you. But hey, the what's name did pick you, so. And I did promise. Promise? In three days, Agnes will be holding a large-scale training exercise on Daedal Isle. Of course, that means minimal security for us. That'll be our chance to escape. How, then? <laughs> well, the only way I know how. Am I right, you dead? Yeah! I've got a bad feeling about this. Yeah. The proverbial's gonna hit the fan. Them's the brakes. Take it or leave it. All right. In three days. Just do some prison things until then. Oh, uh, just try to keep in line, would ya? We don't want to draw attention. We'll keep that in mind. Oh, and a quick word of advice. When all is lost, let him hear you roar. Got that? Hear us roar? All that power you wield, that's exactly what it was meant for. <laughs>